Hey everybody, welcome back to the stream. My name is Emily and this is Julia Vaca. <laughs> and we are here um, looking at some of the new features in Illustrator and then what's also new in Adobe Express. So that's like the big overview, but Julia will give you a little bit more of a detailed uh, walkthrough of what we're going to be working on for the next hour or so. Yeah. Cool. So a lot of you have probably heard about Adobe Firefly, which is a generative AI where you can uh, create text to image or generate text effects or recolor with artificial intelligence, which is a super fun tool for me to get some inspiration. So we're going to get some inspiration there for an avatar that I'm going to be building for myself. Cool. And then we're going to take that avatar illustration. We're going to try the new amazing tool in Illustrator, which is a generative um, recolor. So you can take an illustration and basically recolor it with specific AI um, setup. And uh, then we're going to take that avatar and bring it into a post and make it a social media post in Express, which, I, which I'm super excited about. Amazing. And maybe even apply some animation. So Why not? Why were there? Why not? <laughs> cool. Let's do it. All right. Cool. So I am already actually in Adobe Firefly, which you can find on firefly.adobe.com. And I am in the uh, text to image setting. And I have already experimented a little bit with the prompts. What was your original prompt? It's down there, isn't it? Yes. Geometric avatar character, blonde girl with glasses, long hair. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I know what we're going for. So um, just a couple tips on how to create a prompt that will work for you. Mm. Um, first. I would say define the object that you want to show. Then talk about the style that you want to apply to that specific object. So in my case, I am creating a geometric avatar character. Um, and that will already kind of give the AI an idea of where we had it visually. The style, yeah. And then um, I'm defining some details. What does this avatar look like? Right? So I'm defining it being uh, blonde hair, so it resembles my appearance, and wearing glasses, which I'm currently I not. Say, do you normally wear glasses? <laughs> do you, in other days, do you wear glasses? Currently not. Yes. Okay. I'm usually wearing glasses. So this is you glasses. still. Okay. Yes. There will be a lot of reflection happening <laughs> here. That's a good so point. That's yeah. right. Yeah. For the cameras. I, I have avoided the glasses today. <laughs> but yeah, so basically you can apply a lot of details to this uh, prompt. And also, uh, as I was typing out the prompt, First, I didn't have long hair, so I had a bunch of oh. characters with short hair. Or well, it gives you some options hair. for haircuts in the future. Exactly. Yeah, OK. <laughs> so I had to add that detail. And then we can, um, you know, you can expand upon this if you want something really specific. Mm. I don't know, having a specific color background okay. or anything else like that. Then uh, what I also did is I applied the graphic content type. OK. And then in themes, you can go into low poly, which is going to reduce the amount of vector uh, points. So it's going to simplify the illustration. Get more geometric like you're looking yes. for. Yeah. And we, I've applied the vector look. You can also apply the geometric style here, but Ooh. I have already applied that in my prompt. So that's why it already looks geometric. Very cool. So yeah, super exciting. And uh, what we can do now is we can take any of these results and we can go into options and copy them to clipboard, which is basically copy and paste them. We can then paste them into Illustrator. Awesome. So we can do that. We can also refresh and create some more uh, results. Or we can go off my, f my currently favorite result and we can go and create similar ones right here. So, so that we get, you get options of it. Yes. Okay. We can get a couple more options and Ooh. see if there is anything else that we like more. So the reason why I like to um, use AI for this is because the results are so random and they're so unique and new. Um, you will never find it anywhere else. So be previously, I would look go to places like Pinterest, for example, where you have art that already exists, right? right. So it's very easy to kind of get uh, too much inspiration from existing <laughs> art. And this is just very random and very unique. and you will never get the same response from the AI. That's really cool. So um, that's what makes it really, really a good tool for that. So yeah, um, then what we can do from here is we can download the images. We can uh, say, I don't know, white background and see what comes out. 
have you been playing around with this and just like refining what your search looks like or how has it been for you? Yes, for sure. And I think it's always it's always a different result. So it's always a little tricky to kind of plan a stream. And sure. And then you're like, <laughs> we'll see what we get. You got to roll the dice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. And the same thing, you can also use this as really great if you are building characters, if you're building mm. um, like facial expressions and sure. need variety. You can um, you can create a variety for yourself and look at specific elements only. For example, in this case, I could only look at the glasses and this shape of glasses sure. really looks great. Uh, where maybe the mouth is not necessarily what I want to use in this case or the hair. But um, yeah, I can maybe say I like these glasses and I want to apply them to a different, um, to a different illustration. So I can go again and copy this to, uh, to uh, clipboard. And then let's go to Illustrator. And in Illustrator, I can simply click Command and V to paste. Cool. So I can go in, and you can see that um, the images come with a um, uh, watermark. Yes, a uh, watermark saying um, that this is generated by Adobe Firefly. So this is not for commercial use uh, as it is. But we can definitely t use this as inspiration. That's totally fine. Awesome. There's so, a question in chat that says, can you import a character, import anything to this generator, and then go from there? Yes. So you can actually go and, so we are currently in text to image. So, um, and now it's kind of dangerous that I, that I left that selection that I already had, but it's okay. Oh, no, I know. We're can gonna you go back? <laughs> it doesn't save like a list, right, of things that you've looked at? Um, yeah, you can click back in, oh, your, in your browser history. Wow, look at that. That's great. But Mm, yeah, it's but don't rely on it. Maybe yeah, don't rely yeah, on okay. it. I would say, and let me quickly as I'm as I'm seeing this one, I'm gonna cl copy and paste. Yeah, it we into really my like that one. I think that's our original. <laughs> yeah, when you see it, grab it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I really do like that one. Um, so yeah, let's let's keep these here for now, so that we have them safe. Okay, and then we're gonna but go then, back to yes, generating. So. so if you go into, onto the Firefly website, which is firefly.adobe.com, amazing, you can go and try these different generators. Cool. So we have text to image, which is the one that I was just using, where, where you can directly. type in a prompt okay. and you get a visual result. Then you can use generative fill, which is also super cool. Interesting. And in generative uh, fill, you can actually upload an existing image. So if I were to save my uh, my avatar, I could do that, or I could also, I don't know, use an image of myself. Oh, look at that. You're so prepared. <laughs> um, and so let's say. Um, yeah, let's change the background. I don't know. Yeah, we could we could remove the background. We can, um, I don't know, type in. Yeah, beach. I was thinking the beach too. That's crazy. <laughs> let's do some more relaxing for you. <laughs> After the stream, you're on the beach, you know. Yeah, for sure. Even though it's cold and. You know, outside. <laughs> yeah, um, or maybe I definitely, not I'm huh. definitely ready for the beach. There you so, go. Yeah, look. It got the clouds too. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool because it kind of uh, matches the lighting on my face. Yeah, it looks it's, believable. Yeah, totally. Very cool. Oh yeah, I like that. And then you can, if you like uh, one of these options, you can click keep, or you can go into more and explore more more options. But that answers our question. So awesome! Thanks so, for yeah. showing that. Yeah, so that works. Um, feel free to check that out. It's very very cool. And then um, another new feature that um, that Firefly has, and that's also inside Illustrator now that we're going to be trying out, is generative for color, which is also really really Ooh. fun to play with. But we're going to play with that uh, right in Illustrator. And actually, it's in the new update. So if you haven't updated Illustrator yet, make sure to update it so you Definitely. get that. Um, so you get that, um, yeah, gotcha. recolor option. So what we're going to do now is I want to try out an image trace on this one. Which image trace also got some updates with this update. Is that correct? Um, I am not aware, but <laughs> I'm I'm happy if you can intro me to that. I believe that there were some updates. You'll see it. I think when you go to start working on it, that the flyout panel itself looks different. I could not tell you like the behind the scenes what's different about it. Um, oh, your <laughs> panel looks similar, or maybe it's right here. Okay, so there I see there is a tracing result. Everything looks looks like the way it was. I think what we have here in image trace. It, um, er, or oh, quick actions is retype, but I have not tried that yet. Honestly, this is all super new, and we're, um, gonna, we're gonna figure it out as we yes, go. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Which is what today is for. Exactly. So once we are in the image trace options, we can go in 
and ignore a specific color. I don't know, maybe we can ignore the background. We got the white background we were looking for, I love that. Yes. And then we can go into advanced um, and kind of play around with paths if we wanted to um, and see, yeah, see what we want to achieve in our illustration. Um, corners, maybe sharpen them a little bit more. Uh, reduce noise. And we're seeing, yeah, yeah definitely refine a little bit as we're going here. Yeah, exactly. So that, and then, um, let's see. I think it's a little stuck right now. Okay, so let's get out of that. And then we're gonna click expand, and then what we're gonna do is, what we're gonna get is, we're gonna get clean, vectorized visual. Awesome. That, um, that we can use. Now, um, I can take this vectorized image, and um, maybe I want to cut out kind of like the top area maybe for now. Maybe just isolate you, yeah. S yeah or the avatar, excuse up. me. It yeah, just happens exactly. to look like you. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to go and drag and What's the best way? Maybe I'll just um, You can clipping mask it for sure. I could. Let's just let's just not do that for now. Let's just direct group. select and delete that maybe. Yeah. Yeah, let's ungroup first and then we're going to go and maybe select some parts so we can clean this up a little bit. Love that. Um, and then we can also grab some parts. So here, for example, the eye area is really is really easy to grab, the hair. Uh, we can also go in and adjust some things. We can paint over this. So I'm not sure about this Expression. little. Yeah. Um, maybe I want to adjust the lips a little yeah, bit. Yeah, make your lips look closed. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> so I keep referring to it as you. I don't know why. I'm so sorry. It's just so, so accurate. Yeah, so um, no mouth. Let's do that. And then maybe we're going to go in and draw something over this, something geometric looking. So we're going to be working I with just so. pure. Um, pure pen tool. Pure pen tool. That's uh, crazy. Not <laughs> very precise. Okay, but it so works. It's a style. Yeah, we can grab one of these Love colors. It. Nice uh, brown tone. Yeah. I like it. OK, cool. So then we can go and adjust some of the colors here also, maybe some of the eyes, something that resemble, resembles eyes. Maybe we can make that a different color here. OK, All right. we can work further on that. But yeah. anyway, I think this is starting to look really, really cool. And yeah. maybe what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this, and I'm going to cut out that bottom area. We don't need. We don't need it. We already know. Yeah. Let's see if. Yeah. I think use we're path, path too many tool. Too many paths. <laughs> <laughs> to simplify yeah. it a bit. Yeah. I always kind of have to guess with these. I know I should know them with Pathfinder, but I feel like every time I'm like, which one's the right one? <laughs> yeah. Let's ungroup. So yeah, I like the divide tool. Divide tool is always. Do you know right. them in order? Like if you you know what it is before you click on it. <laughs> sometimes you have to experiment. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I you know I do it all day every day, but then sometimes you're like, oh, that's not the right one. <laughs> yeah. So this this should work. Great. For us. Love it. Cool. And then uh, now I can of course go in and change everything uh, around it. I can build a nice little background Love for it. myself. Uh, maybe put it to the back and see we have some Interesting, uh, yeah. shapes here going that maybe I want to recolor. Give yourself more hair there. I like it. Yeah. And maybe this area, we can also create another shape so it's nice and filled Back to here. the pen tool. Geometric. Back to the pen tool. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, OK, so now we can maybe go in and start experimenting with some colors. And this shape, I'm also going to color another Love that. color. So something like this. Um, now, uh, let's maybe this is not the right color for us. Uh, maybe we'll go with something. Ooh. Uh, I, I usually like to you sample know, from what's already sample there. Sample from what's already totally. there so it fits in the theme. And then maybe let's make this a little bit smaller. And I'm going to create some variations and see how I can recolor this and make this maybe more vibrant. Maybe uh, I also I think I want something a little bit more closed up here so that I can, uh, you know, I have a little sh a higher neckline. Hi yes. Yeah, some fashion options. <laughs> Thank I love you. it. <laughs> yes. Um, so I'm going to do Ooh, something a turtleneck like this. kind of? Yes. Yeah, so or like Steve a... Jobs style. Oh, OK, yeah. <laughs> going to reference. Yeah. All right. Um, all right, so let's do this, <laughs> and I'm gonna d go for some for one of these. Love it. Colors. So now it looks more professional. Yeah, yeah. We went from you know 
the night look to the day look. Yeah. Perfect. Um, cool. So now I'm going to create another yet. Oops. No. Uh, <laughs> we just added that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go and um, let's make sure that everything's ungrouped here. So we have just a bunch of different shapes. And we're going to go into edit. And now let's go and take a look at our generator free color Ooh. beta. So this is super, super brand new, fresh from the press. Um, <laughs> and now we can go in. Of course, we have to have our selection made. And then we can go in and see what kind of color colors we can explore here. Ooh. And we can uh, type in a prompt. Um, mm, let's do vibrant. Okay, so bright colors probably. Yeah, vibrant. And you can go in and explore that further. Oh, I like I like these color Ooh. color tones here in the hair. Chat is saying this is looking really cool. Thank you. I think they're yeah. looking at fashion options. You much, should you, know? you should totally try that out for yourself. Oh, I love this one. Ooh, that's fun. The green and um, even the side by side of the orange. two. Oh yeah, and the green lips, amazing. Right. Yeah, and I think I want to adjust some of these shapes sure. and make that a little bit. Kind of match a little bit more. Just purple going on down there. Yeah. Love it. Uh, maybe a little bit of that green neck can go and, uh, I don't know, be a little bit more natural looking. <laughs> and even the lips, I think yeah, I can you know recolor what? We tried them. it. We didn't love it. Let's see something else. Uh, maybe something like this. There you yes. go. Um, a it's going. easiest if you group things together so sure. that you can, um, so that you can access them all at once. But that's okay. And by the way, I'm using the eyedropper tool um, to sample color uh, with the letter I on my keyboard. The hotkeys, we love it. <laughs> Is that a hotkey or a shortcut? Or are um, they the same thing? I don't know. I think maybe. You're like, I just do it all the time. The I don't thing. even know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, okay, cool. So let's try something else um, since we have a little bit of time. Um, so I'm going to go back and uh, recolor. It's also in the quick actions. And here you can also access that through the panel. Uh, that. Generate a free color beta. And let's try something more vibrant here. Ooh. Um, let's go and, and you know, and I feel like it would be, it would be a great idea if we had group things. So for example, the hair strains being together. Sure. That kind of flow into each other. I think that would give us better results. So I think you can definitely make this better than I'm doing it right now. What we're exploring. Uh, trippy disco lights. Uh, Ooh. Interesting. <laughs> Did that um, just generate itself? That's interesting. AI is telling you yeah, what you should yeah, do. Yeah. It's like go to the disco already. Yeah, that's totally that's <laughs> totally cool. I want to explore more some more natural Ooh. options. Um, don't type in uh, nude. It's a forbidden word. I <laughs> I learned. <laughs> I tried it out earlier, and it does not. That's funny. Against the guidelines. It said wrong way. Don't go that way. Yes. Um, that's funny. Um, so yeah. That looks great. Look at this you. This one looks pretty, pretty cool. It's reminding me of like Andy I Warhol, like you know, where you're getting like each one yeah. like multiple times. It's really fun to right. see you do it this way. I love that. Yeah. Um, cool. So then I guess we can go from here and take our avatar. And I wanted to maybe explore some some background color options. I think this is so far my favorite. Yeah. And I feel like the color scheme kind of represents me the most. I mm. really love the colors green and like not more natural tones. I love that. So let me take that one. Uh, which is my favorite, uh, but let me know which one is your favorite. Yeah, uh, yeah one, two, or three. Uh, I would love to know that. And chat, if you have any questions or just any interesting comments about what we're doing here, feel free. Yeah, for sure. So I, I want to see if maybe a gradient as a background Ooh. color could be cool. But uh, then again, you know, I, I want to use this avatar by itself at mm. some point. So maybe it's not even that relevant. But I want to explore and I want to see maybe even oh, cute. using it cool. I like the rounded edges. It's like an offset to all the sharp lines right? I'm seeing. That's kind of nice. And that's also a really good preview for me. Maybe I want to use this on my Slack. Yeah. As a oh, I love that. We're making Slack like profile pictures today. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, a, yeah, when you get like your photo taken in a grade school, you know. It's right. Kind of like, yeah. yeah. Love yeah. it. <laughs> um, cool. So yeah, let's explore a background and the background. Maybe I want to sample some of the colors that are already in the illustration. Perfect. So I'm going to go and create uh, one of these um, cool. Uh, what's it called? Um, mesh. Uh, mesh. Yes. So in the mesh, what's what's going to uh, get me is, and I'm going to go in with a direct selection tool and click 
on any of these points and then letter I on my keyboard. And I'm going to create like a flowy gradient. Very cool. And uh, again, A for direct selection. Say, we need the direct select one. Yeah. So yeah, the letter A gets you the white arrow tool. Yeah, and then you can also um, select multiple points and create. You hold shift, right? If you're using A and then hold shift, okay. Right, I'm holding shift. And then I'm going to sample maybe a lighter color or I'm going to try out what works best here. Maybe, um, I'm not sure if I want that. Maybe, yeah, I'll just keep oh, yeah, it like that. one colored. And then let's adjust the edges here as well so it's kind of matching with that. It creates a little bit of volume. I didn't know you could actually select the side tools. I'm learning right now. <laughs> or like the side anchor points. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's cr it can create I just assumed really it was cool like volume. What, yeah, like those four that you have, I assumed you could only use those. So look at this. Yeah. That's really awesome. Cool. Yeah, it looks like we have some volume. And then what you can even do is you can select the letter A again. And you can move these points around. And then you can kind of Ooh. move around the color. And that I really love because right. it can create a really cool effect. And we can distribute the color differently the way we want. We can even use these uh, anchor points here to Very um, cool. adjust the direction. On the, the way handles, the, kind of? Yes. Very interesting. Um, the way the color flows. So that can bring another visual interest here. Do you normally make your gradients this way using a mesh versus using like the gradient tool? You know, there are so many ways to make gradients. Yeah, when you said gradient, I assumed you were going to open up the gradient panel. So I was like, oh, we're going a mesh. It was exciting. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, and I've, I've explored this and discovered this on my own at some sure. point. Yeah, and, yeah. And I've you been liking know this because it gives you a lot of flexibility. Definitely. But I do use, I use the gradient tool a lot uh, also with a, um, what's it called, the um, freeform gradient, uh -huh. which can give a similar effect. Sure. So that one is also really, really cool to use. But yeah, that's another possibility. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to go with something like this. And then maybe, you know, I can expand the size a little bit. Because I do want to have some additional brand elements for myself. Love maybe that. some stars, some, I don't know. Fine. Uh, something that maybe I can make move later on. Or okay. maybe I'll just go with a template. Uh, we'll see. But I want to see if. I can bring some more customization into this. So chat has a question. I yeah. think it's kind of the question we were building on earlier about can we bring our own original artwork? So I'm thinking maybe like there's a character that we've made. So say like in this character you've made, can you use this character, bring it back into um, the Firefly, and then will it iterate on that character? I have not tried that yet. I haven't tried that either. So this is a good but, question. Um, I would but try. There's one way it. to find out. We can always we could try it now on our stream, or maybe this is like something we follow up with later. Yeah, I'm wondering. Because you're in the middle of something here, so let's finish <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm wondering. Yeah, I want to see if that works actually. So let's We're check try it, out. it out. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we can definitely use the generator for color on our illustration. Definitely. Um, then, I don't know. I mean, yeah. You might be able to generate a fill like a different facial expression. That would be my, my only my I, first I'm inclination, but I don't know. I'm wondering if the AI is that far yet. Yeah. But um, let's try. I, I'm going to just uh, take a screenshot. Yeah, I was going to say, when in doubt, screenshot it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take a screenshot of this and see. I mean, we can try it uh, or a drag and drop image here. We can do that too. Let's do that. That's easy. I feel like, yeah, when you drag and drop that, you have like three seconds before your screenshot disappears. <laughs> yeah. But you're going to do it. Ready? Here's the countdown. Three, two. Yes. She did it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> OK, cool. Um, yeah, so OK. Let's see what we're going to do. <laughs> <sighs> I am honestly a little concerned about this, but OK. You guys decided. Let's do like happy or I don't know. Oh, red lips. Perfect. Yeah, I think it might work best on images. That would make oh. sense. Or we, yeah, stand corrected. That works great. <laughs> <laughs> you got okay. options. Look at it. So it looks like maybe maybe there's a better way of going about this. But as we're starting here, yeah. generative refilling some certain portions. So this will give you like refill of like, you could do hairstyles or facial expressions. So yeah, mm -hmm. I'd say in the roundabout way, yes. You yes, could. you can do this. <laughs> you could. I think either we would have to define red lips geometric Oh, true. Get the style correct. Yes. I but if you're going to be using this, I'd say in a workflow too of like, I'm just referencing it and then I'll like fix it, right? Since it's still in this process, maybe mm -hmm. that's something that works for us. Oh, there you go. Wow, I feel like I got the, the highlight. It's not too bad. No, but it's, really it's not. also not the great either. So I would suggest maybe 
let's stick to photos and then yeah but hey yeah look at that we learned something new yeah <laughs> true very it's cool something it it works somewhat but um yeah not ideal but yeah anyways um all right back to the programming <laughs> back <laughs> back to the programming. so we're gonna add stars we're gonna add something that you were potentially gonna animate yes the um so let's add what kind of stars are we gonna make i'm always so I know you don't so. think there's like a lot of options and you're like oh wait there's like a four point <laughs> star or like you know like the really like pointy exactly you never so know so my favorite ones have been lately yeah, very what, what simple yeah what are you lately when it comes to stars <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so it's been it's been quite simple so something like this okay and then I would uh I like them very geometric so I would do something it's on like brand that. for what we're doing right now oh perfect yeah I wasn't sure where you're going with two lines. I was like, hmm, I'm seeing parallel, but you did it. <laughs> maybe something like Love that. Love it, yeah. And That's great. Maybe we can make them white. I like that. Just so they match the background. Would Let's you call see. this a star or a sparkle? Or is there a difference? These are the hard hitting um, questions I have. <laughs> yes, um, that's a great question. I am not sure what to call it, to be honest. That's fair. Uh, yeah, let's it call great. it sparkle. It, it's giving sparkle to me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> So let's it's make cute. It a I love bit it. Smaller. And so, what's your plan for animating these? Walk me through where we're going. Um, I'm thinking size, maybe. Okay. You know, oh, I love that. Like yeah, like it's smooth. like smooth, fading in and out. Okay, yes. I like that. We'll see. But I see. I need to adjust a little bit of that. And just a little tiny geometric. Bit, tiny bit of of adjustment needed here. And are you holding shift as you're dragging here to make sure they stay aligned? Yes, like I correct. Said, yeah, okay. <laughs> Should we give the little secret things I'm seeing over yeah, here? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, appreciate that. And then uh, maybe one that's somewhere around yeah, here. Yeah, like that. The three. You know, distribution of these things is usually such a <laughs> challenge. I know, you put it one place and you're like, was that right? <laughs> right, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's great. Um, um, Angel is saying, use your exact exact same prompt. Oh, that's when we were doing generative regenerating on your face. Oh, got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Sorry, on the avatar's face. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, cool. So yeah, um, let's. Um, and I know I need to. I'm I'm very I'm very precise about this, but Good, um, yeah. I need them to be the same length. <laughs> sorry. No, that's very fair. Don't be sorry. <laughs> this is your avatar. It needs to be exactly how you want it. All right, cool. So this looks somewhat, and the, the secret to to distribution and to like sizing of things, I usually don't have them on the same size. Um, I, it always depends on the amount of white space around. So Definitely. Um, yeah. That was great. I'm going to group them. Oh, that's very smart. And you're okay, going to so group them individually or um, all together? Yeah, individually, okay. I would say. For now. We'll see. For now, yes. <laughs> and then I have a very strong feeling that we're going to have to use some experiments some of the, with some of the express stars. And that's what we're doing. So. But that's fine. I think I can use something like this already here as a, as a static um, as a static avatar, I want to work a little bit on the gradient here. Since I have moved my image, I think I want to adjust the color just a little bit so it flows nice, nice and smooth here. There we go. Maybe something like that. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the transition here. Sure. <sighs> what are we gonna do about that? It's always the fine details. Yeah, it's okay. I think for now we're good. I don't want to be too detailed, but I want to add some more detail into the... <laughs> but... Okay. Yeah. Um, hey, it's always how it goes. You're like, I'm not going to do this, but I do want to do but, this. Yeah. yeah, I know. You got to do it all. I do want to add some other shimmer into this. Ooh, and, shimmer. Which okay. is just going to be very tiny white circles. Or maybe Ooh. other color circles. Uh, I don't know. Let's try it. Yeah. I think I might Cute. reintroduce some of these other colors. I in like here. it. Um, yeah, and then just you know, and I'm always working with the letter I on my keyboard for the eyedropper tool. For the eyedropper tool, <laughs> correct. And then um, to bring some irregularity, let's copy and paste this one. Something like that. Yeah. I like that. It looks like I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, you really are. And then a little process up there. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think I'm just going to make that one white. I like that too. 
Yeah, and I think I might want to reduce this oh. brightness a little bit of this color, and I'm just going to copy one of the... I don't have green eyes, but that's okay. We won't tell. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah, so this is... Um, this could be it. I'm loving um, it. Let's, uh, let's try and move the background to the side for now. Okay. Um, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that I want to have just this avatar for now to uh, be able to use it in my um, in my designs. Love it. So I'm thinking of the best way to bring to bring this into Express, mm -hmm. and I think we can either use the CC libraries. Um, can we copy paste? Yes, you can. All right, perfect. One in doubt, Command C, <laughs> Command V. If you're on a Mac. All right, so let's PC, get into Express. Know. Let's do it. So this is the beta version that's alive and available, right, for everybody that you'll be yes. using? Yes. Great. Yes, exactly. So you can become right. part of beta, and you can explore. So this is what that looks like. Let me go and like, are you in the, refresh the, this. Yeah. You might have to click that little banner at the top. We will see. Oh. I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. There, oh, wow. <laughs> Look at the tab is already there. OK. <laughs> yeah. Um, Yes, so you can switch between the versions. Yeah. If you like the previous one better. I enjoy this one. But Honestly, once we show you what you're going to do, everyone's going to be at beta because this is amazing. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's start from our content. I was actually thinking that I'm going to that I'm gonna go with a template. Um, should sure. I go with a template? I would say if you're going to command copy, command V, it might be, yeah, it might as well start with a template. Or just do a blank background if you want to add your gradient. Um, I don't we'll have it in here. my files, so I'm just going to, let's see. You can import post. an Illustrator file itself, but I think because you have so many options, I would suggest, yeah, just, there you go. Cool. So you, yeah, did Command-V, right? Yes, Command-V, and let's see. Are we going to get some vector in here, or are we going to have a clip? I think it's a cl like a clipped. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Because I know so, that you can open the layers again, so that, uh, let's see. Let you can also just do this. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. That was an interesting. <laughs> That's not part of the Interesting beta. <laughs> glitch. <laughs> so let me copy this in larger size. I think that might help us. Command V. Yeah, that's much better. So what was the difference that you did? Sorry, I was trying um, to figure it out I on my just end. resize it inside <laughs> Illustrator. So you just made it larger? Yes, I what just made it larger. What size was it originally? What size was your artboard there? Was it like teeny tiny? Um, Not that tiny. Uh, let's see. So the height is about 1,000 pixels. OK. Yeah, so that's like an, so, I mean, close to like a Instagram size, which is like, what, 15 inches? Yeah, it actually it should work, but it's OK. Yeah. We'll just work with this. Um, that was an easy work run, so I'm not too <laughs> worried. Yeah. Looks great. Cool. So let's. Uh, so I have my avatar, and now I can technically apply to anything I want to create. So I can create a background. I can also go in and Great. likely just take what I have and copy paste. Uh, let's take this gradient. I'm curious to see how the gradient goes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's size it up by a lot. <laughs> we learned from the first time. We're just going to go big. <laughs> go big and go beta. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So we're going to go and use it here. Wow. Oh, not okay. too bad. But it looks like we're missing maybe our little detail stars. Or did yes, you leave them Yes, I have not okay, applied so them. So we're not missing that. Yes. That was intentional. Love that. Yes. And then command and square bracket open to place it at the okay. bottom. And then now we can play around with our um, with our little avatar, and I'm not sure if I'm if I if I'm convinced about the background. Maybe let's just keep it simple and one sure. colored. So maybe what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to apply a color. Okay. Um, and let's go and add um, background color there. Yes, I know. <laughs> and when you when you're in Illustrator, I think your mind is always like it's on the right, but it's not here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we're still switching. Yeah. Um, so the background color, then we can sample from the illustration. So we're not going to press I for eyedropper. We're just going to click on it manually. The eyedropper. Yeah, I don't think there's a shortcut here, <laughs> but that's okay. It's short enough. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's do maybe you're losing a little bit of your hair. Maybe I think a darker background will yeah. work. Nicely because we're gonna have we're gonna apply some of the shimmering. Uh, Gotta get our shimmers. 
Yeah. Ooh, that's like good. It, it yeah. looks very dramatic It now, really is. Right? It's a different feeling than your like gradient background, but I like it. Yeah. So then let's go into our elements and let's type star. And so you're going to import one from um, Express rather than bringing in the ones from Illustrator. I could. I could copy and paste There's those no from Illustrator. There's no reason I'm just asking to see if I'm following your process correctly. <laughs> Um, I want to see what I, oh, I like this one. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the four point star. Yeah. Ooh, it almost oh, matches nice. the color scheme already. Yeah, I like this. And then we can place that a little bit around, and maybe we can play it with the size. All right. There's a question in chat. Is there a randomizer tool in Illustrator? Um, create an image like the star and then randomize it. I think there might be one you could kind of do it with patterns, right? If you made like a pattern and it would, but I don't think for the shape itself necessarily. But definitely, Illustrator team, I hope you're listening. <laughs> we want to randomize it. <laughs> randomize the objects, yeah. I think yeah, that would be super you could cool. Randomize, but as far as like generative, like not at this point, I don't think so. Yeah, um, but yeah, it would be amazing. I mean, that would be really really cool. All right, so we have we got some stars. All right, they're looking great. We got some. Um, I'm seeing you keep the three sizing like you were having previously. It's similar, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And you can see, like, I think intuitively, I have this like golden ratio in my. It's just, it's just in there. <laughs> it's yeah, just in there, she's yeah. such a good artist. It's just in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So what we can do now is um, we can go and play with objects. So we can get we can add, add animation, we can add adjustments um, because this is a yeah this is not a vectorized object this is a Im image object so sure. we can a raster go in if you will if uh, yeah exactly <laughs> thank you so then you can adjust the, the um, details the saturation on the, of it yep. yes. And what we can do is we can also apply effects. So it's yeah, very in cool. this case, it's just going to adjust the color. But if you have An something more image. complex, something like this, we can actually go in and try out different color combinations. Ooh. So I'd say it's treating it more like an image, right? When it has all these right. different things, it's going to kind of do it all at once instead of picking out individual layers. Yes. Um, so yeah. Exactly. So yeah, let me go back. Which to speaking of layers, original. you see the little stack on the right? where it says like four layers. So that's showing too that when we brought in the image of you or the avatar, excuse me, um, that it was one layer <laughs> itself and that's why it's affecting it that way, I think. Right, exactly. So um, so yeah, you can you can select all the objects that I've brought in here separately as well. Love which that. is, I, by the way, I really love Express Team if you're watching this. This is so cool. It's such a great <laughs> way to see layers, right? Yeah. It's a very visual, simple way to see layers. There's something to say, it. like in all the other programs, right? Like you can see them, but for some reason, the three dimensional aspect yes. of it, it feels like my brain's like yeah. unlocks something. Yeah, it's yeah. something special. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And so we can go into animation and we can make it kind of fade in. Then, so so you can see that the animation has three steps, and it's mm -hmm. made to create like a process of something maybe appearing, sure, doing something and disappearing. Okay, pretty much. Yeah, right? showing up, doing something. Yeah, I exactly. Mean, just every day. <laughs> exactly. So let's uh, let's take a look um, how we can animate it in, uh, and I'm thinking something like growing. Okay, like yeah, growing so it's like, star. Yeah, <laughs> um, or twinkling or maybe. Or, okay, yeah, both. We can tumble it in. Oh. <laughs> we can spin it in. Oh, pretty. We can slide it in. We can pop it in. Oh, there they fade. are. Fade, um, mm -hmm. and so on. So there are some really cool effects that you can try out. I think we're going to grow it into into our um, image, and we are going to also grow it out. So let's take a look how we can we can we're gonna shrink it. So it's gonna appear and then, and then disappear. It's gonna go back. Same way it came, but the opposite. Yes, love exactly. it. Exactly. So we have these two set, and in between, it can make maybe turn or whatever you want it to do. Um, and overall, I think I can resize it a little bit so it's not too much. I'm a big fan of the more like subtle, uh, subtle animation. Definitely. And then you can also preview it here, the way it animates in. Um, and and so and we were just looking at the outro there, right? So that's why we were just seeing it at the very end. Oh, there you go. There's your intro. Yes. So this is the intro. Nothing's happening in the middle, and then it's going to outro. And this is the outro. Yeah, Love exactly. it. Love it. So this is that. And something like that I want to apply to all the stars so let's so that they are kind of in a similar um, 
uh, in a similar style in animated. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna grow it in and out, I'm gonna shrink it. And then we can also determine the duration of this, right? So we can sure. set how long this will fade in and fade out or grow in and, and shrink out. And you could do out. different ones, right? So like, so like they're like almost like twinkling all together. Yeah. Love that. Right, so if we change the duration of this, then they will not go all at the same time, which I think will be yeah, really nice. Definitely different looks either way. Like I could see them all going on at one time or like, yeah. Yeah, so let's take a look. So again, I'm gonna have it grow in and then, and then uh, shrink. And I'm, I'm adjusting it to different uh, pacing for all of them so that it doesn't happen at the same time. We have someone just joining the chat, and yes, we started doing this uh, in uh, Firefly, and then we pulled Firefly into Illustrator, and now we're pulling Illustrator into Express. So we've done a, a series of uh, programs here, but that's kind of where we're at right now. And yes. now we're working on adding animation to our illustration. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool, so, so now let's take a look. And I think what I want to do is maybe in this first scene, I have only one star, and then in the next scene, I have the next two stars appear. So that's going to make it a little bit more complex, but I like that we have that control to create a more rich and uh, complex animation. By the way, how are we in time? Uh, we have. We are doing great. We have about perfect. Know, 15, 20 minutes left. Amazing. You're doing it, yeah, flawless. Wow, cool. So, um, yeah, and maybe I think I want to remove that effect. Um, to keep the colors the same. None, yes. To keep <laughs> the colors the same, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, cool, so that's that. Um, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to make it a little bit more randomized how sure. they move. Sure. And also, I think I, after seeing the complete uh, replay of how they move, I think I want to uh, adjust the uh, movement duration. Absolutely. So I'm going, I'm always selecting the object first and then I'm going into animation and I can see, you know, the duration and personality. Yeah, I want to wow. know more about that. I was going to ask you as you're going, some uh -huh. of them had different ones selected. I saw one that was like energetic, uh -huh. which is just interesting. Breathe. Ooh, that's perfect. That feels more like a star. Stars breathe. They didn't yes. know that till now, but they do. <laughs> yes. Okay, look, so. Oh, I like that. Well, that's really subtle. Yes, you I could like definitely that a do lot. larger if you wanted. I bet, or or, or maybe, maybe we like can, that. or maybe we can remove completely that first grow in and, and have, have it just them. breathe all the time. I feel like that's accomplishing what you're kind of looking for, huh? But yes. in a different way. Yes. So yeah, we're learning right. about animation as we're going here. Okay, and it's all about experiment, and maybe yeah, the breathing is definitely. And if we adjust the speed of mm -hmm. the breathing then they will they won't be some, they won't be doing it at the same time which is going to make it look more natural we love that so in this geometric world that. here and i love by the way how easy it is to add those effects and and remove them also so like normally really cool. before before today actually how would you normally have animated this like what would it be your normal process um, to be honest, I've been using the XD prototyping a lot. Okay, okay. Have you tried that? No, I haven't. So yeah, in XD you can basically create uh, an artboard uh -huh. and then copy and paste that artboard, create, uh, do the changes uh, that you want to animate, sure. resizing. It's very simple though. Sure. And it's mostly made for uh, UI prototyping. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can create anima like very oh, interesting. simple animations. I've used it for prototyping, but I haven't. Like normally I would build a GIF in, or like, Right, a rendered a small video like this or something, I would do this in Photoshop. Yeah. Um, and that would take a lot longer, right? And so right. to have the animation just already done for you, incredible. In Photoshop, you can do it frame by frame. Right, right. right. Which is kind of what you're doing which here. Is fun. But this is, it's, the program is doing it for you, which is yes. amazing. Yes, that is so true. Yeah, cool. So I honestly, I am pretty happy with this. I just want to make sure that our speed is all different um, in each of those items. So I'm going to go in and just select random speeds. And, Smart. Um, We're randomizing. Sure. Yes, <laughs> randomizing. We're doing it. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so let's see what energetic will look I, like. I I'm need to know. Interested. What is energetic? Oh, wow, that is energetic. Yeah, it's, that's it looks very more like a heartbeat. Energetic breathing, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so it makes that easing between the smaller and the larger star quicker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Interesting. I, think I do want to make it soft or smooth. 
I'm wondering what's the difference between soft and smooth. This one looks very smooth already, but very let's smooth. try smooth. Uh, how smooth that will be. It's still yeah, it's yeah. very smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Less heart beaty. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have. Oh, yeah. I like that it's so subtle. It's so subtle. Yeah. It's not distracting. It almost is like, wait, was it moving? I yeah. like that. That was very yeah. cool. Yeah. And let's, uh, okay, let's add something else. I feel like we can do, we can do more with the background yeah. specifically. Um, so maybe. What um, if you did something to give it a gradient? Like what if you did almost like, like a, like a low opacity and maybe that like glowed as well? Mm -hmm. Or do you already have a vision? Don't let me mess with your vision, but it was just an idea. <laughs> I don't have that idea yet. That's okay. Um, so the stars will inspire you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, cool. So I think maybe we could go off a shape. Um, but I'm, w I'm wondering if we can do something even more complex, like... Um, Take us there. Like space. Wow. Okay. We're going to another dimension, <laughs> another world here. Yeah. Here I was thinking a circle. You said space. Oh, look at that. Oh, I can't even see. Make it bigger. Ooh, a galaxy. Yeah. The geometric galaxy. That's super cool. Okay, so now we're going into the layers and into we're the layers. moving this one under my head and right bit behind Love my, that. my yeah. avatar. <laughs> and right, it's uh, just the avatar. It's not you. It's just the avatar. Exactly. Let's just <laughs> resize this so it fits the whole image. I like the yeah, details giving. That's cool. And now what we can do is maybe we can have it move across Ooh, in the stars. Uh, you're moving um, in space. Yes. <laughs> Okay, um, so let's see. Chat says they're really liking the, the color. Oh, wow. They're saying it's giving um, a moonlit sort of look. Yeah. As she's in space, I feel like that's right. And and with that dark background, I feel like it like feels very dramatic. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, so oh, you're just going through animation options of what we got going on there. Yes. Kay. So these are all in a part of the looping okay. uh, part. We can also go into in and Kind of just drift drop in. into space there. Yes. Ooh, that felt like, yeah, kind of. And we can like. even make that lo way longer so it cool. feels like it's just moving. Ooh. Ooh spooky. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. Can we do something? Okay, four seconds seems to be the max here. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we're going to do also smooth. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. I haven't been to space, but if I had been, I feel like this is kind of what it would feel like, you know? <laughs> right? And then with the stars together. Okay. It's like we're there. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> this animation is just so seamless. It's so nice. Yeah. So then now what we can do is uh, we can download it. I think we should. I don't want to lose this. We can download it as an MP4. Um, yeah. PNG, the other ones JPEG, would be static, right? And PDF will be static. Yeah. Exactly. So we can do that. We can also go in and share it, um, share it with someone, I guess, um, maybe to collaborate on on it further. Um, or to okay. show to a client maybe and be like, hey, <laughs> are you happy being in space? Tell me yeah. yes or no, exactly. Yeah. So the cool thing now is that you can actually invite collaborators that's really cool. um, to work on something together. So that's been, uh, that's also a really great addition. And then we can determine the source size. So how large do we want to have this? Do we want to have this in 4K? Probably not. If you're doing Slack, right, if you're going to do like an emoji size, I'd say maybe not 4K. That might yeah. be too much. Yeah. So um, I think this could even be something like a um, like a post. Yeah, definitely. Can add some text to that. And I think 1080 would be a good amount of, of resolution. And Very I cool. can click download. And we're going to download it. I love that. Yes. Very cool. Yeah, and I think I want to do, create a couple more versions of this. Um, maybe just adjusting the background and making sure I'm designing for a static version of it. Mm. So, or maybe if you, do. oh, go ahead. Yeah. I, I, I was just thinking maybe just to simplify this and maybe try out some backgrounds. And w for that, we can go into the background section of the elements. Mm -hmm. And we do have some gradients here, I'm sure. Um, if we, t if we type it in, oh, that's, this one looks great. So let's try that. Oh, we got the gradient back. I'm happy yeah. to see it. Yeah. 
I like that one a lot. Um, and maybe we would do like a color adjustment on this one, maybe right in the effects. Yeah, we can, Love we can go into effects, try out the more purple looking mm, ones. I like that. Or green. With your Steve Jobs uh, <laughs> shirt here, your turtleneck. Right? Um, cool. That one looks cool. That kind of reminds me uh, of Acrobat, which I'm working on a lot. The so. program, correct? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Uh, so unless you do acrobatics as well, <laughs> she really can do it all. Um, yeah, this is awesome. That's awesome, yeah. And we can see that I have some cutouts in my eyes. I was going to say, I'm noticing your eyes are changing. Reflecting. <laughs> it's like, reflecting is it AI or? <laughs> it's just a reflection of the background. Exactly. Because <laughs> she's really in the scene. Ooh, I like that green. Yeah. I think that's really cool. But yeah, we can also go in and into none, and we can go and, and custom adjust um, our image so we can adjust the contrast, maybe the brightness. Maybe we'll make it slightly dark. Like so we have about five minutes left, so we can see where we're going to get this in the next five minutes yeah, or Yeah, so, right? for sure. And then we can go and adjust the warmth, which will adjust the whole color palette, okay. which is also really fun. Definitely. It's pulling in some of those nice green tones. I like that. Or... Or... There's more. <laughs> or we can just play around with the background Why color not? and yeah. see. Uh, maybe we'll just use one of these color shades that are already in the image. And... Um, yeah. I was going to say, if you wanted to even, we could go back and look at the other uh, avatar that you didn't end up using, but you also liked, unless you want to keep playing with this one. we got options here. Sure. I mean, you yeah. only have five minutes, so that would be like a speed round, but. All right. Yeah, let's do it. So I'm quickly going to download this one as well for I made you rush You're like, I'm quickly going to finish all of this. <laughs> if you don't want to, don't worry about it, but I was just no, thinking I, about No, I like things. this. I think this is a great representation. I really like where you got this one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get back to Illustrator and let's take back a look we go. Where, where we where we started. The giant avatar. Yeah, like, give us a rundown too. <laughs> so we started in Firefly by generating images of uh, of a specific prompt, a geometric illustration. Blonde. Blonde with hair. Glasses. Long with hair. With glasses. Yes. We got two options here. Yes, we got two options. You can also, and I've seen uh, a lot of my colleagues doing that, or several of my colleagues doing that. Um, you can also grab elements and go really, really custom and use AI to generate more results and com combine things more. Uh, we are a little bit restrained on time, so I didn't have the chance right. to explore a lot. You explored a lot, to be honest, <laughs> like all these things. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, we were where we ended up. We image traced um, the result. We added a little bit of coverage here at the top. We, we changed your lips as well. I don't think we caught that because you already changed it in that first one, but yeah. That's true, exactly. So. I don't know if they're still there. Um, oh, no, maybe not. Them. I think, yeah, I think I, I corrected yeah. the color. So then we explored with color a little bit, which was super fun using the um, uh, the generative um, um, recolor. Yep. And you can find that under edit, edit colors, and generative re recolor. You yep. have to select the object That's before why. you recolor. And then <laughs> um, we designed the background, and this really cool uh, result came out of it uh, in this very specific color palette that I feel like fits really well to my character. You really, yeah, no, it's perfect with the hair, with everything. We did a gradient mesh, or you did the gradient mesh, I just watched, <laughs> um, to make that background and really be able to adjust that. Uh, gradient. So that's nice. And we added some glitter or some sparkles, some shimmers, we're not sure. But that's in the background <laughs> as well. Um, and yeah, then you pull that over into Express. But yeah. yeah, that looks great. And then we added some animation in Express. Which was amazing and so easy. It yeah. looked amazing, right? Yeah. Um, you were saying that you can also take this Illustrator file and open it up in Express right away. So this we is true. go in. But what I would do is probably, since you have so many on one artboard, I'm curious to see how that would work. I might take this avatar on its own and put mm -hmm. it on its own artboard and then bring it in, but that would be my suggestion. Yeah. Or you can also use CC libraries. There's yep. so many ways to um, take this and bring it into Express. And, and if not, there's always the old copy paste. Right. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Great. So I hope you all had fun uh, watching watching this, and I hope you get to experiment with AI and the I think recolor and the general rate of recolor <laughs> and Firefly. I think those are great tools to get some inspiration and um, to get some uh, new design work going. Yeah. So up next after this stream, we're gonna switch places. I don't know if we're actually gonna <laughs> switch, but I'll be designing, and then Julia will be hosting me. Um, and we're going to be going over some of the similar things, um, some re is it retype, I believe is what we're <laughs> calling it. So we're going to do look at some retyping. We're going to look at some animation as well on a different um, version of that, some recoloring, um, some live tracing, all of the above. So we'll
we'll just be switching places here in the next stream. So stick around, um, and we're going to be having a good old time here. So, yeah. Yes, absolutely. I'm excited. I know. This was so fun. You. I love what we made. It looks great. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll see you in a bit. Yeah.